Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we're doing another first impressions today. This is one of the recent purchases that I made in our last Ipsy haul, um, Ipsy. <laughs> The last Ulta haul, that's the one. It is from BH Cosmetics. It is the Romantic Nomad palette. This is the sheet that comes on top of it. This is the palette itself. And inside you get 16 gorgeous, what I would call mini shades, but mini shades, I mean, it's still gonna take you a really long time to get through all those colors. So it's not like they're super, super small. It's just a smaller palette, but because it's a smaller palette, these guys retail at $12 full price, which I think is a great deal for a lot of colors. 16 colors is a good variety. So that's why I really like picking up these when they put them out. I picked up another one that is the same size, was also $12 and it was more uh, neon colors, but I wanted to do something kind of soft and mellow today. Obviously we're just hanging out at the house and I thought this would be a nice little cute Saturday look because it is Saturday. So that's what we're working with today. I'm thinking based on what I'm wearing, based on what I'm feeling that I'm probably going to end up using maybe a touch of the green shade, probably these browns and this light blending shade and then the glitter pigments in this are actually really gorgeous. It actually looks like there's one more glitter pigment than there are matte shades in this, but there's enough matte shades that it doesn't bother me. Normally I like to have a heavy matte shade and then a couple like really nice glitter shades. But that being said, I think I'm gonna probably either wind up using this pretty uh, like golden colored uh, glitter shade or this purple one. I don't know why, but I really like that purple one. So we'll see how I feel when it comes to the end of the eye look. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, but you would like to see us do a lot of new makeup haul reviews and unboxings and fun stuff like that, then you should consider subscribing because we're really fun and we're doing a ton of them right now. So, all right, let's jump in. I'm gonna start with this little guy right here, just as like a nice neutral shade. I apologize if I sound a little bit congested. Um, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm potentially dying. Uh, it's really hard not to feel like you're dying with everything that's going on in the world. Uh, anytime you cough or sneeze or anything. Uh, it's most likely my allergies, but I, I honestly don't know. So it's been, it was really, it was really rough. I, this, like all last night I had like this weird chest pain and my mom was like, you're probably just like congested. Like maybe you have the flu. And I was like, I don't know, or maybe I'm dying. So that's how it's been. I've been stressing myself out. And then I read Wikipedia articles about COVID and I'm like, <laughs> to die. Uh, so it's been, it's been fun, but I apologize if I sound not uh, perfectly great. It is because I can feel just like the slightest bit of congestion, just like in the back of my nose. It's not up front. It's not in my throat. It's just like resting in that precipice. And I'm like, I sound like I haven't been able to breathe right in 20 years. So it's great. It's great. Got a nice little base going. I really like this shade. It is a lot more prominent than I was expecting it to be, if that makes sense. Uh, it is such a light shade. I was thinking it might not really be that apparent at all, but it does have like a good amount of, like it gave me some, definitely some color and some dimension, but not so much that it's overwhelming. I think it's gonna be really, really beautiful uh, when it's all said and done mixed with the other colors. I'm now gonna go in and I wanna just use a little bit of that green that I showed you guys at the very beginning because I, I really like that shade, which means I probably will end up going with the gold over the purple just because I don't wanna have it looking like super, super out there today. But I'm just gonna do like a little bit in the outer corners just to give it, once again, a little bit more dimension and a little bit more of a darker feel to it. But it actually, that is still really muted. Like now that I'm layering it, it's getting a little darker, but that was a very, like that's a very muted, nice kind of pretty subtle shade. And that's why I was drawn to this palette is it has a lot of what I would call very muted, very like soft. I mean, it's called the Romantic Nomad. So obviously it's supposed to be a very soft romantic feeling palette with just a little bit of pops of color in there to give you that adventurous idea. But I really am a big fan of, of so far the two colors that I have used. I'm now gonna go in and I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used for that first color and I'm gonna just blend it. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with the, I'll show you guys to reference it. I'm gonna go in with this this one right here, this shade right here um, and just get a little bit kind of above the green in my crease area just to give it once again, just a little bit more of a darker vibe. Still very soft. I mean, it's this really, I unless something dr like drastic happens and I suddenly go really crazy and heavy handed with like one of the super dark shades in this palette, this will be a very muted eye look. Like I said, that's kind of what uh, I was going for today. To be honest, muted, <laughs> muted eye looks, obviously you have a little bit more cushion room where you can kind of 
do a little bit of a looser blend and make it look less crisp and less sharp and it's people are gonna notice it less uh, than if you've got like these really bold colors. So I just was like, I'm not feeling very precise today and I just kind of want to like do something quick on my eyeball that looks decent before we film another video. And um, uh, yeah, yeah, so that's why that was part of the incentive for choosing this palette to review today over one of the other palettes that I, I picked up recently. I'm really liking how this is turning out though. It is, like I said, very soft, very, very workable. Final, final step. I am gonna go in with that pretty gold color that I pointed out at the beginning. We're gonna use this and I think I'm gonna do the one next to it as like a highlight for the brow and for the inner corner. I think that's gonna turn out really pretty. <gasps> love it. Oh, I love that. Oh wow, that's so pretty. Oh, it just gives you, it's such a like crisp. That's gonna sound like the weirdest word to use here, but the, it's like the crispest application of glitter in terms of like, sometimes when you apply glitter, it is incredibly patchy and this just it, literally it took like one brush wipe and it was all covered it's gorgeous i love it i love the shade the application is beautiful i love it oh i love this okay huge fan really big fan i think this is a really for 12 bucks i think this is like a really great palette to have just to do these really soft muted but gorgeous looks um yeah i'm excited to, to to see how easily it turned out. I mean, it's literally taken me no time to do this. It's, you know, very rough, but it's really pretty. All right, we're going in now to do the inner corner highlight and the brow highlight with that color that I showed you guys last. And I really think this is gonna be the perfect kind of accent color to finish off the whole look. I think that is one of the things that I didn't really appreciate when I first started buying palettes, but now that I have like worked with so many of them and bought so many of them, a really nice accent highlight color for your inner corner and for your brow bone really can be the difference between a, a palette being like amazing and being okay, in my opinion, just because I think there's something about it that just kind of ties everything all together that just little bit of shimmer in those areas really does a great job of kind of making the eye look really pop and look well-rounded. So I am always a really huge fan of palettes that have these really very um, workable, very usable highlight colors in it. And I think this one's a gorgeous one. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of this. Let's put on some mascara so I can see how it looks all finished, but I'm happy with it. It took me like 10 minutes to do all this. Like I said, I wasn't going in with the intention of being overly precise. This was just kind of a rough, like let's get some color and some, you know, pretty uh, blendable shades onto my eyes. And I think it did a pretty good job considering uh, mentally I was just kind of like, let's do this. And I wasn't like, let's let's do this. Let's like get ready for it. So um, yeah, let's let's put on the mascara. Let's see how it looks. And then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be right back. All right, so this is the final look. Big fan of it. I really like it. Like I said, it's a very affordable palette. It is very small, <laughs> compact, easy to take with you on pla on trips and places. Not that anybody's really traveling right now, but still it's just a nice little asset for $12. I think it is a very, very workable palette. It's very neutral. A lot of times when they do these smaller ones, they have a lot of um, very vibrant colors or um, statement colors. And that's a great thing too. I personally love that. But for a lot of people that might not be as big of an incentive to purchase it just because you may not feel like you're gonna use it as much. I think this is one that even if you're more into neutral palettes, you're gonna really be able to use quite a bit. Big fan of it. Uh, like I said, definitely check it out if, you, uh, if you're looking for something to throw into your collection that's gonna give you a nice kind of subtle, but like very soft and romantic eye look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I really enjoy doing these first impressions on palettes that I pick up. I hope you guys like them as well. If you do, please let us know in the comments. Uh, if you want me to see me do any palettes, if any palettes are coming out or there's something that you're like, I kind of want to try that, but I don't know. Let's see somebody else work it first. Uh, I, I am reckless with my money. So go ahead and tell me and I will buy it and I will review it for you. So yeah, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy right now. Uh, if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. It, it helps us out just an absolute ton. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please join the Dark Angel family. We would love to have you as part of our, our uh, little niche YouTube community here. And, uh, and yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all, like I said, staying safe and healthy and have a wonderful day. But stay girly with a dark twist. <laughs>